Hey guys, so today we're going to start working on um, partial products for a two digit times a two digit number. Um, we're going to start with 15 times 23 and I'm going to show you how to break it down in the partial product box and how you can use the box to help you um, solve this problem. Partial products kind of help you split it up a little bit better um, where you're not having to traditionally work out the algorithm. Um, I typically have about half my kids that really like using the box and will use it the rest of the time throughout the year or um, the other half really like the algorithm. So this is just going to give you another strategy to use um, in case you find this easier than doing the algorithm. But you'll have now another, just think about this as being a tool in your toolkit uh, to help you solve a multiplication problem. So with the way the partial product box is, I always have my students color code it like a stoplight with an orange in there. Um, and that's kind of how we're going to go through the problem. We are going to start in the green box, work our way through the yellow, up to the orange, and end at the red. Almost like a backward Z. And I only have y'all do that because that's how you would work it with the algorithm, like the order of how it's going. And then once we get the box filled in, we're going to add all those pieces up and get our product for this number. So what you're going to do to start with is you're going to take um, 15 and 23 and expand them. So 15 is 10 and 5, and then 23 is 20 and 3. And I always tell my students just to go back and double check. 10 plus 5 is 15, 20 plus 3 is 23, so we're good there. So we're going to start down here in this green box. And what you're going to do is you're going to multiply the bottom boxes are both getting multiplied by 3. So what I typically have my students do is say, okay, what's above the green box, which is the 5, and then straight to the left of the green box is the 3. So we're starting with 5 times 3, which is 15, and then we're going to slide over to the yellow box. Above it, you have the number 10. To the left of it, you have the number 3. So 10 times 3 is going to give you 30. And then we are actually now done with the three and we're gonna move moving up and multiplying by 20 now. So coming up to the orange box on the right, we're gonna do five times 20. And you can shortcut that, just think to yourself, what's five times two, which gives you 10. And then you've got that extra zero over there for 100. And then into our red box, we're doing 20 times 10. Well, 1 times 2 is 2, and then with the 0 from the 10 and the 0 from the 20, that's going to give you 200. So all you have to do from there is just add all of those up. I like to start with my um, biggest numbers and then work my way down. 200, 130, and 15. And then you're going to have a 5 in the 1s, a 4 in the 10s, and then 2 in 1 gives you 3. So 15 times 23 is 345. Okay, with this example, we're doing 24 times 45. So you're gonna start the same way. We're gonna expand 24, which gives you 20 and four, and 45, which is 40 and five. So just as before, I always tell them go green first. So we're going to be multiplying both of these boxes by 5. So we're just going to take the number above the box and go by 5. So with your green box above it, you have a 4. And then, of course, to the left, you have the 5. So 4 times 5 gets you 20. Sliding over to the yellow box above it, you have 20. To the left of it, you have 5. And you can shortcut that if you don't know what 20 times 5 is. Uh, 5 times 2 gives you 10. And then with the extra zero from 20, that box is 100. Coming up now to your orange box. So we are done with the five and we're moving up to orange now. So we're gonna start with four times 40. So another way to think about that is four times four is 16. And then with the extra zero from 40, that box is 160. And then we're stopping at this red box, which is our last one, which is gonna be 20 times 40. 2 times 4 is 8, and then you have the 0 from 20 and the 0 from 40, which comes out to be 800. So with that, you then take those and add them up. So we have 800, 100, 
160 and 20. So nothing in the one, six and two is eight, eight, nine, 10. So 24 times 45 is 1,080. And then for our last example, we're doing 58 times 93. So with a 58, you're gonna have 50 and eight, and then 30 and nine. So starting down here, going green first, above the green is our eight, to the left of the green is the nine, so eight times nine is 72. Sliding over to yellow, that's next, is 50 times nine. So shortcut that, nine times five is gonna give you 45, and then you've got the zero from the 50, so 450 in the yellow. And we are now done with the 9, and we're sliding up to now multiply by 30. So into the orange box, we have 8 times 3, which is 24. And then we're going to add that 0 in since we were multiplying by a multiple of 10. And then to stop in the red box, so we've got 5 times 3 there, which is going to give you 15. And then we have the 0 from the 50 and the 0 from the 3. So in that box, it's 1,500. That's kind of the main thing to watch on these is when you do have the zeros involved um, in these numbers is to really watch and make sure the zeros get into your answers. Um, that's typically one of the big errors we see with this is sometimes a zero gets left off or there's too many zeros. So you really have to just watch and see how many you're supposed to have um, in your boxes. So we are going to take and add these up. So we have 1,500, 240, 450, and 72. So that's gonna give us a two on the ones. Five on four is nine, plus seven. Gonna give us the six, ooh, that's a bad six, sorry. 16, and then we've got five and one is six, plus two is eight, plus four is gonna give us 12. And then one and one is two. So our answer, I'm gonna write a little bit better over here, is 2,262 for this box. So I hope that helps. What you're now gonna do is kind of go into class kick and I've got an example for you to practice on. And after that, um, I've got the key on the page after it so you can try that box and then check the key and see if you got it. And then the three pages after that look almost just like this. And you're going to go through and work the box. And then I'll come in this afternoon and check and kind of see how you did. I hope that helps. Please let me know if there's any questions on this. I know that this is a brand new skill for us um, that we're starting on. But we're going to be on this for a few days. Um, so if you find that you're kind of getting stuck or not sure what to do, just let me know and I'll be happy to help. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.